Hi, Macy here. One of my viewers asked me how can he publish Unity games to iOS? Does he need to learn Xcode? The answer is very simple. You can just directly export Unity games to iPhone or iPad in very simple steps without even knowing Xcode. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export Unity games to iOS, including making a build on your own device and also how to distributing it to other people by using TestFly and Hockey app. Before we start deploying our iOS apps to our devices, we actually need to register the application under our developer account. There is an annual fee of $99 for the access to distributing or just testing your iOS apps on your device. I have registered, so now I'm on the developer.apple.com. Just click on the member center. Click on the certificate identifier and profiles and click on provisioning profiles. There are two types of provisioning profiles. The first one is development. This is kind of provisioning profile you can use that just to testing the device when you have them with you. Put it in a simple way is you are able to deploy apps from your machine to another device. There is another one it's called production provisioning profile. What you're able to do is you're able to distributing app from another source. For example, you can release it on App Store. You can share it with your testers on TestFly and Hockey app. There is a wildcard development IDs is being created. This provisioning profile or identifier can be used across the board. So any apps you want to test, you can just use this wildcard ID to test it without register all your apps. So let's skip this part, just straight to the production provisioning profile, which is a little bit more complex to do. In order to creating a new distribution provisioning profile, we actually need to have a app ID registered for our new apps. Let's click on the app IDs, click the plus sign. We need to give a name to the app. So I will just say distribution test. Then we need to create a unique bundle ID. Usually it's com dot company name dot app name then just scroll down so there are services you can enable and just click on continue that is the distribution ID I have created and this is the identifier and then you can submit it. They say this app is not registered, so we can use it in provisioning profiles. Let's go to the distribution option under the provisioning profile. Just click the plus sign. Then what kind of provisioning profile you need to create. Let's just click ad hoc. This is for test fly or hockey app let's click continue i just select select the one i just created and just select continue just choose a certificate that's already being created just click continue you can select all the devices select all and click continue and give it a name so it's easier to remember. I will just copy the app name and just generate. 
now the provisioning profile is being created. If you would like to add more devices to your provisioning profile, you can do is click the all option under the devices. Then click the plus sign. Then you can re register your device. So here I will just give my device the name. It is an iPad mini second generation. Then we just need to paste the UDID. How can we get the UDID? It is very straightforward. Just go to the iTunes. Now my iPad is connected. I could just click on the icon. This is serial number. Click one more time. You will see UDID. Then just copy the number. Let's go back. Just paste the UDID and just click continue. Then now we registered with this ID. I am in Unity created a brand new Unity project. In order to make a build, we just need to click File, Build Setting. Make sure we are selected under iOS and click Player Setting. In other settings, we just need to paste the bundle identifier with the one we just registered for iOS. Then just click Build, select the folder you would like to save it. I will just save it as iOS and just save this. Let's just go to Xcode. So now the project is loaded. Just keep in mind that the provisioning profile and what the other identifier are not going to be automatically refreshed. Let's just click on Xcode, click on preferences, click on accounts. So here, if your account is not added, just make sure you log in here. And if you just updated your account, then you need to refresh it from the account. So I just click the group. I just added my new app and just click on view details and just click this little arrow button to refresh make sure all my new provisioning profile is being downloaded it is the best to test the app before we actually uploading it let's just click play make sure there's no bug it's no error on our own device seems that everything is doing fine actually i didn't notice on xcode 6 my unity game actually doesn't compile properly I'm actually on Xcode 5. The interface are similar. Now you can see the app is running properly on my device. Let's just archive it and upload it. Let's click product. Click archive. It will take a little while to generate a .ipa file which we can actually upload to Hockey App and TestFly. Our app is being generated properly. Let's click Distribute. On Xcode 6, it is called Export. Let's just click on Save for Enterprise or Ad Hoc Development. Click Next. Just choose the one. It's called distribution test. That's the one we created. Make sure it's the one with the correct package name. Click export. This steps will go through all the validation and everything. Seems that everything worked. Just click save. Let's go to test fly. Test fly, just click on the plus and click on add application. App name, call it test. Bundle name is com dot 
company name dot test platforms ls click save we just need to actually upload the app so click on app information and click upload the build just drop our dot ipa here write a little bit note so people know where it is and just upload it while it is uploading let's go to hockey app it's pretty much the same process click new app just upload the same process the speed it's all based on your app size and your internet speed my app just finished uploading you can select everyone on the provisioning profile or you can just select the person you want to be notified or being updated and then just click update and notify the person who are on the list will be able to receive an email and a link to download the app same thing on the hockey app just click release type some note status just click yes and just send or send notification to the only person on the list now i'm gonna receive email that's the template what it will look like and they can directly go to download it on their ios device and enjoy that i hope you enjoyed this video see you next time bye my project it's completed it's you can see here it's on my tablet just open it so those are the options I just request the banner and now we have a banner showing up here thing doing it's hide click hide it's hidden and then show interest show